Okay guys, now we know how to translate a sentence or a multiple sentence into an equation or expression. So earlier we talked about how to translate into an equation. Now this time we're not only translating, we're going to solve the problem also. We're going to find the unknown, okay? So let's work it out here. How do we, dis how do we deal with this kind of problem? So five less than a number, remember five less than, there is a keyword, is very magic word here, okay? Then and from, if you see these two words I mentioned, this is gonna go first. So clearly you're gonna have x less than minus five, okay? Equals to 10. Well, that's a straightforward, pretty, pretty straightforward, you know, you have nothing to worry. And this is a negative, so we do the opposite operation plus 5. Cancel this out. x is equal to 15. And you can check the answer if you want, you know, plug back into the original equation and you want to check it out. Okay, guys, that's how we do this. Lovely. Let's take a look on the next one here. Okay, next one. Okay, the sum of, here you go, first thing comes up here, sum, right away, if this is sum, right, you know, there is going to be one plus, there is going to be another one. Sum of two times, so two times a number, that's 2x, and 4, and 4, so that would be 4, look at this here, what I'm doing. And this is going to be is means equal. So we're going to do an equal sign. Five times, five times the difference. So look, five is outside. So we need something here, guys. Five should be out. Five is outside. Five is outside times means multiplication we have more than one so there's a difference so we have one number here minus another number here and then you end unless there is more word on it so difference of a number and six so of a number is x and six that's all and tells you that you're gonna and really tells you that you're gonna divide you know subtract well done we structured it right now we can say you know what it's going to be 2x plus 4 equal to 5 open parentheses x minus 6. now every time you have parentheses in a word problem the first thing you do remove the parentheses by using the distributive rule or multiply it, okay so what do we do we just multiply it, distribute it, okay so we're going to have 2x plus 4 equal to 5x minus 30. I could have done this in the last you know, step too. I mean the first, this step also. Or you just carry on down here. Right now my goal is to get rid of the variable. So the key is here. I always try to get rid of a smaller variable. Cancel out the smaller variable. In other words, get the number in one side, you know, variable in the other side. On the left side you want to have the number. You know what? I'm just bring the left side here. You're gonna have a negative sign pops up. But if you try to subtract negative two, you won't have a negative sign pop up. So you know, let's do this here. Negative five x, negative five x. This time I'm subtracting the bigger number, therefore I'm getting a negative sign as you will see. So that will get canceled, and I have a negative three x plus four equal to negative thirty. Then we're gonna subtract four in both sides. We're going to subtract 4 in both sides subtract 4 so that will give us that will give us negative 3x and thus cancel out equal to negative 34 now i need a little bit of space to the right side here so i'm going to divide so you know let's have this one here so i'm going to have negative 3x equal to negative 34 i just rewrote, rewrote it okay divide by the same coefficient of the sign divide by negative 3 remember we are looking for only one x we are not looking for negative 3x 
So we cancel this out. Yeah, x equal to negative, negative is positive. It just disappear, right? And 34 over 3, we don't leave it like that. We say 11 and 1 third or approximately 11.33. We should not leave as an improper fraction. No, we don't. Okay? So that's how we do. So this one or that one, either one should be your answer. Okay? Lovely. And I'm going to go to the next one here, which is the last one in this video. Okay? So let's see. We can deal with that too. So the two times, two times the sum of five and a number You see, in any time, you just have to know that how it were wording. So two is outside, two is outside, open parentheses, the sum of five and a number. So five plus X, okay, equal to, equal to the product of six and a number. So six times X. Or you can put down six open parentheses x. That's all, guys. That's all we have to do. Then, well, we distribute it. So 10 plus 2x. 2 times 7 is 10. 2 times x is 2x because that is the invisible one. Equal to 6x. Get the variable in one side. So this time I'm going to actually subtract 2x because I see there is a variable on the right side already. Cancel out. 10 equal to 4x. And once you have a 10 equal to 4x, we're going to divide by 4, divide by 4, and this got cancelled out. And you have x is equal to, if you reduce it, it's going to give you 2.50. Or some of you can reduce earlier. You're going to say, you know what, it's going to give you, you reduce it, it's going to give you 5 over 2. 5 over 2. Okay. So guess what? It's still the same thing, right? x equal to 5 over 2 or you can actually say 2 and 1 half or 2.50 okay guys i hope you understood and anytime is given a word problem you can translate and also you can solve for it also thank you